Susie, how excited are you to get straight back into the WBBL after the World Cup? Yeah, it's exciting to be back in Adelaide and um, I know Sophie Devine and myself were pretty disappointed with how New Zealand went so it's nice to be able to sort of get straight back into a new competition and, and take on the Aussies um, in a different style. Do you think there'll be much banter around training and around the competition <laughs> about how the World Cup went? Yeah, um, Alex Price got stuck in yesterday at training um, about how it went so I thought the only way to sort of answer that was with the bat so I tried to score a few runs off her but yeah, no, there's a bit of banter around but it's all in good spirit. The bookmakers have got you third favourites to win the title. Do you think that's about right? Yeah, I think that's pretty fair. Um, I think last year um, the goal was to make the semi-finals and, and we did that and, and got beaten by the Sixers who eventually won it. But I think with the squad we've put together with someone like Sophie Devine and Megan Shute um, with the ball as well, we've got a really good core group of players and we've added uh, Danny Hazel from England so I think last year we perhaps missed that off spin option in the power play and so now I think we've got a, a really good balanced lineup. and look the, the goal again is to make the semi-finals and hopefully go one better. How, sorry how good is it having that international flavour and a few people from all around the world? Yeah it's, it's really exciting I think um, for, for the local group as well they've just come off their scorp season and it's quite refreshing for them to I think to have some new faces around and um, we're quite a senior group um, myself Sophie and, and Danny have been around the traps for a while so with the youth that we've got around us I think it's a really nice balance and not only I guess the performances on the field but hopefully we can help them off the field as well and, and just that experience always helps at this level. And, and so do you like that pressure of being one of the international players coming in having to perform? Yeah, I think you just get used to it. I think initially when the competition first started, um, you, you sort of felt that added pressure. But um, after doing it for a few years, look, it is what it is. And um, any team you play in, if, especially if you bat in the top order, you've got to go out there and score runs. So it doesn't really change um, depending what team you play for. Sophie and I at the top of the order know that that's our job. And whether it's for New Zealand or the strikers, we want to go out and do that. An immediate goal, do you say uh, the semis last year, let's uh, aim for the semis to start and see what happens from there, or do you aim even higher? Yeah, I think um, in this competition everyone's gunning for those semi-finals and, and once you get there it is sort of a one-off game to get to that final. So um, I think as captain that, that's my goal and you know sort of seven or eight games gets you into that semi-final um, position. If you can win seven or eight you can go close to that semi-spot. I think your first five are on the road, uh, is that a problem? Um, <laughs> yeah, like ideally we'd be playing um, out at Karen Rolton or the Adelaide Oval more often, but look, I think um, at the start of the season it's quite nice with a few new faces to get on the road and, and touring together and you get a bit more time together as a group for all the, the planning and the scouting. So hopefully we can use that to our advantage and then the back end spend a bit more time at home. And what do you think you need to do a little bit better to get from uh, progress a little further than you did last season? Yeah, I think uh, last season our bowling attack was outstanding nearly every game. We were able to keep teams to really low scores and it was sometimes our batting through the middle order that uh, let us down at, at times. So I think it's just the consistency with the bat and allowing the girls to feel like they can just go out there and play with freedom and, and you know not um, the top order just bat really positively and then the middle order come in and finish off the games for us. Um. Eliza Doddridge, do you know much about her? Can you uh, can we expect good things from her? Yeah, I met her yesterday for the first time. So um, she was in my team for the warm up match and she, she had a bit of a bowl and looks like a really talented cricketer. And um, she just seems like a sponge. She wants to learn as much as she can. But yeah, handy, uh, medium pacer. And I think she's pretty good with the bat as well. So it's exciting to see a fresh face and hopefully she might get an opportunity this season.